Rock It Right. We're so glad that you could join us. We are really, really excited to be coming to you from the Partners One studio from beautiful Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But if you're listening, you might be hearing us in Mississippi, Texas, or Louisiana, and we're happy that you are. We have really one of our dear friends, Gabby Lubier Higgins with us. She is the owner and founder of Brew Ha Ha. She's an out the box kind of chick doing all kinds of cool stuff. Uh -huh. And she Correct. brought with her, <laughs> and she brought with her a friend of hers, Amy Herb, and they are with K9 Rouge Rescue Pet Adoption. So we are so glad we love puppies. We love oh, yeah. animals and we want to know more about how you started developing puppy treats at Brew Ha Ha, because people may want to order some, and then how y'all got together to bring pet options to Brew Ha Ha. Well, she was working with another organization and posted a picture of a little husky mix on Facebook, and I already had two dogs, but I had to have this dog. His name uh -huh. was Coda. Um, so I messaged her, <laughs> and um, she was actually saved in my phone as Spider-Man balls. Because <laughs> years ago, I made Spider-Man balls, apparently, for her. Um, so I text her, and, and long story short, I adopted Coda. Shortly thereafter, and he's the greatest dog ever. So now we have three in our house, so do not let me leave here today with I know. A I'm, I, <laughs> Just I my witness, child. That's I've witnessed it. a puppy. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Um, so shortly after, she started her very own rescue organization, K9, and we spoke, and they needed a place to do adoptions, and I jumped on it, and, and that's that. Now we run and, and, so, and so, how often do y'all do this? Or how many have you done in the past? Because I know we got one coming up. We've done we four. Or five I at we've done five. five. I think we've done five. And then they've done a few, a few other places in Mid City. Right. Um, but we don't have like we're kind of just like spontaneous. We'll have one, and then she's like, "Oh my goodness, we have thirteen new dogs. Can we do one next weekend?" Yes. So we're kind of just like whenever there's enough dogs, which I mean lately is a lot. Every day. What would be yeah. the best way for people to see dates? Uh, well, we post them all the okay. time. Follow and our we Facebook have pages. the flyer we can like put yes. up for this first, yes. this one that's coming up next, which is July, July 17th. 17th. Yes. July yes. 17th from 10 to 10 2. To two. Right. So it's a great time to be able to stop by Brew Ha Ha, get some coffee, have some cake, human, like some human people, treats. Hu human people uh, cake ball treats. <laughs> and thing. if you have your dog, you can bring your dog and get him some puppy treats. Or if you need a puppy to buy puppy treats <laughs> for, you can all of it. Find you can do one stop shop. Yeah, yeah. Right. Look at all of that. Even this so, little puppy. Oh I look. Know. Okay. <laughs> like I'm having weak moments right now because yeah. I really like I have two at home that are more than enough for me to love, mm -hmm. but I could so love one of these puppies. Mm -hmm. Do you know what's better than two dogs? Three. Three. <laughs> yes. But it yes. stops at that, right? <laughs> I <laughs> always had three dogs because we had three boys mm -hmm. and every every child needed a dog. Right. So now I'm just, you know, to one, but right. I spoil him rotten. I feel so. like Oreo needs a friend though. I know. <laughs> That's what I told my husband after CJ. <laughs> and then I got two. So you think I, I remember that. These look like twins. What do you think? Well, there you go. <laughs> so okay. um, let's talk about, uh, you had started making puppy treats, though, before. Well, you I started, started the, a while back, the and the then I just never mansion. really stuck with it. Um, and then after we started doing this, I was like, okay. So I do the little pup cakes in different sizes, you know, for little dogs, big dogs. Oh, he's licking me. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you love me? You want to be my baby? And then just today, I came up with these new little pup pops. I know, pops, which you're KK to on the show. So yeah. let's get a little, like, uh, pan down here and look at some of these treats. I know my dog loves the cupcakes. I mean, it's got two little doggy buns on the top yes. and a peanut butter flavored frosting. Mm -hmm. The frosting oh. is delicious. It's cream cheese, peanut that. butter, and honey. Who wouldn't like that? And it's then talk so to good. us about the <laughs> new pup pops. So I did a little Powerball a couple a couple months ago, mm -hmm. and you know they sold, but they just weren't that cute. And so mm -hmm. today, I was, well, yesterday I was thinking about a different treat I could bring on today, and I was like, I could do those little balls again, you know, because we're known for cake balls. Um, and so I thought, well, if I get those little sticks, which the stick is actually 
it's not real rawhide because it, right. I don't know if that's bad for dogs or not. People go back and forth. It's like right. wine. Right. One day it's yeah. good for you, the next day it's not. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but it's a little faux rawhide chewable stick for a puppy with the little, it's pumpkin, peanut butter, and pumpkin, peanut butter, oats. and oatmeal. Thank you yes. so yeah. much. And well, it looks you have nice. a face. <laughs> if you feel like yeah. you need to taste test it for yeah. your dog, you can. You totally can. Just don't, don't eat, eat the, the raw stick. stick. Yeah. But I just <laughs> or love the, the way stick. you decorated with the little tiny dog biscuits. And cute? Just Some eggs. of the oats fell off on the way here. I was like, they're a little, but you know, dogs don't care. They don't care. No. They're going to eat it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They well. are. And, and, and we learned that the tip is, uh, before you give your dog the cupcake, be sure and take the paper off. <laughs> yeah. Oreo, our first dog to ever eat one, he ate the whole paper, everything. And I'm saying he loves yeah. paper anyway, so, yeah. um, but, but yeah. yes, now I definitely peel them uh, uh, for him. And, that uh, seems like kind of a common sense thing, but when you hold it in your so hand, fast. the dog is just going to yes. take it. Yes. So, yeah. You know. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah. they're not going to let up. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, like should I get it? Should I get it? And it was like, no, it was gone. No, yeah. no, for so sure. So you're always looking for new and different ways. You not know, only to just have some really good treats with mm -hmm. the cake balls, because you, you're the original Baton Rouge baller. I, I mean, am. you've been cake balling for a long time. Forever. And then <laughs> you've expanded your coffee business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we you're roast shipping our own coffee, and, mm -hmm. and then you were talking about shipping cake balls. We do that. Mm -hmm. So wherever you and are, roasting her own coffee. Yeah, yes. roasting yeah. coffee. You I know, love I just, your coffee. I just don't, um, I don't really know how to sit still. Obviously. Yeah. Yes. And that's a good um, thing. So it's just all of my eggs are in that basket. I yeah. get up, I go to brew in the morning, and I'm like, what else can we do? Like we've been toying with the idea now of getting a soft serve ice cream machine, and you know, and so yeah, my daughter's like, yes. Um, that's right. So, you know, it's just like whatever. And we're in mid city. You know, we have so many regulars that walk right. there or yes. frequent. And they just love to see new things happening and local art and just whatever we can do just to keep it. You always do happening. things in the community. You always yeah. are doing things to benefit others in the community. I try. And really, this dog rescue and adoption yes. opportunity is just, yes. you know, another way to bring people together with love. Right. Well, let's tell them. Because these are adorable little puppies, and we are going to show some more because you're going to hang out with us, Amy, in the next segment and uh, tell us about so many of the pups that are going to be there. But these little cutie pies are up for adoption, they too. Are. So, uh, Gabby, you have Ollie. I have Ollie. Oh, Look at those blue eyes. Look at those. And they have blue eyes. And, and what kind of uh, puppy dogs are these? So they're rescues. They're probably some sort of a terrier mix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they're going to be a nice medium-sized dog. You can tell by their little paws. They're about eight weeks old now. Mm -hmm. And so we think probably about 40 to 60 pounds is where they'll end up. Mm -hmm. And he's got this beautiful little and coat. Man, yes, so and, then, um, little ear. and then this is his Paisley. That is Paisley, his sister. Paisley. Right, and oh. she's got that beautiful chocolate and white oh, coat and those adorable. gorgeous blue eyes. She With the little sweet so eyes. so cute. Is she the heart-shaped nose? No, mm -hmm. her sister. Mm -hmm. There are so two then, yeah, more. And two there more. are two more there in the litter more. as well, oh, yes. Okay, and I think I, one of them's black and white. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Two of them are white and black, yes. Two of them are white and black. Yes. So, hmm. Ori's twin, just a different breed, right? <laughs> well, maybe you need quads now. <laughs> and so, so tell us about this cutie pie in your So lab. this cutie right here is Jacques, and he is about eight years old. He is a Papillon mix. He found himself in a kill shelter in a rural area, and um, we couldn't say no to this little senior. And yeah. we brought him in, and we got him vetted, and you can see he's just happy he's content yeah he he's says, happy to be he held like beat. most puppies right. yeah I, I, I would say they're all very well behaved you yeah. know mm -hmm. i mean it's incredible we uh, only have the best no, no, <laughs> that's right that's right you, you raise them up that way yes. right from like, they're they're in know, our foster from, homes and they know the rules right yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to talk a, yeah. about that up next and we're going to okay. have one of the uh foster moms uh join us and talk about how that uh program works but let's tell folks again july 17th, july 17th at brouhaha 711 jefferson highway from 10 a.m to 2 p.m sometimes 2 30 sometimes 3 <laughs> until the puppies are all adopted yeah, that's right um, and they'll just be set up outside and you know you can come I, I don't even know how many total 
that day. It really just depends. They get new puppies every day. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll have some older dogs, some puppies, and, and we have a flyer that's out. We'll update on their Facebook page, and we'll be there. And just, if nothing else, come give them some hug and well, kisses. Well, and everyone should follow the Brouhaha Instagram okay, yeah. page because you've always got such uh, mouth-watering things on, on mm -hmm. there. That's like, right. Uh, uh, you were... Um, so you've got some breakfast stuff, some lunch stuff. No, we quit no, doing that. No, no. COVID. Oh my gosh. Uh, update, just update, balls. Update. Just balls. Yeah. Okay. Since um, during COVID, when we shut down, we decided to not bring back the kitchen kitchen. Oh. So you know, there was a lot gosh. of time and to I've, just, I've just been in for good food, and people lately. miss it, but they understand that you know there's a lot of expense that goes into yes. running a full yeah. kitchen, and so we made the decision to cut back. And honestly, now our cost is lower, and I'll, our sales are higher that's because, awesome you know I had time to play with some numbers well it's hard <laughs> to get past time. the front counter with the cake right. balls and yeah. I'm baking way more now and you do so wedding cakes and you we do, do all kinds of yeah. things cake ball wedding cakes yeah so yeah. if you want to send somebody something wonderful you need to go to brew haha yeah. so up next we're going to keep it going with more cute puppies so stay tuned to the rocket ride show